Bow. What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and this video right here is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself and as a matter of fact, this video right here was inspired by a conversation I had in BrandManNetwork.com a few days ago. All right. It was just a few people. It was like five artists and like a manager. We were just chopping up, having a conversation, right? And this artist expressed that she didn't like the fact that she could drop something and then just like a, a week or so later, people forget about it completely. Like don't even know it existed or they're just done. They moved on to the next thing. And then that made me ask her, how long do you promo? Like I just thought about it. Like how long do you push your stuff? And then, you know, she answered and then I started to hear other people talk and I really came to the conclusion that, you know what, a lot of people that I hear, they don't push, they don't do their campaigns long enough. So how long enough is a, a good campaign? How long should you be working to push your, your stuff? Well, I'll tell you this, me personally, a lot of things, whether it's my festival, uh, when I first started that, uh, when I was with certain artists, just a lot of things I do like three or four months, three or four months. I'll just keep it at that. Straight simple. Three to four months is how long I push things when I'm pushing out of security, out of obscurity. And that means unknown to known and getting people to convert, All right? Unknown to known and getting to people to convert. And each of those are phases. So you have to keep pushing because when people see something one time, that's probably not the time that they're really going to soak it in or check it out. I see videos by artists that drop videos that I know and I actually like that I don't even watch the first time I see them when I'm like scrolling through YouTube and things like that because I might be on for a different reason. So you have to keep that in mind because, all right, so I'm going to break a few things down. This video is off the fly, but I want to make sure you get everything you can, at least from this video, in terms of doing it for three months. All right. First, the way I even learned this was like a harsh personal experience. Probably like seven years ago now. I don't know. But, um, I did a panel. I, did, I actually talked about this before on the channel, but I did a panel, so I'll keep it short. Three people were on a panel. Three CEOs were on a panel, and uh, yeah, four people showed up to the event. Three people on the panel, and like some legit CEOs were on the panel um, within the tech industry, mostly some music, but four people showed up. Three of those people that showed up, quote unquote, was me and two people who were helping me. Me and two people that were helping me. The third one was a, I mean, the fourth one was a guy who was just randomly walking by. I was like, yo, what's going on? Oh, snap, this is dope. I want to get in. So why was that? For me, first of all, I didn't put enough effort into marketing that particular event. This is where I go by the 10X rule that Grant Cardone talks about so much. Like It's a great book or just hearing him talk about that concept uh, for y'all who don't know. But the rule is basically... Most of the things, like it's not this whole inspirational thing. Yeah, you want to 10X your life, that's cool. But the, the, the part that I love of it, the meat of it is most of the things that you're trying to achieve are going to likely take 10X the effort that you think it's going to take. Why? Because you actually don't know how much effort it's going to take. So you're planning and saying, I'm going to do this, this, and this, but you haven't done it before. So you don't know the effort that it actually takes. Right. So kind of plan for that. And the reason that event, you know, I had some successful events a couple of days before and a couple of days afterwards, which was a second lesson for me personally. But because I did have some success, successful events, I was actually surprised to have like one of my first huge, huge failures. But part of that was because of resources. Right. Trying. That's why I talk about focusing in, on where you want to put people's attention to and where I learned that personally. Because I had 300 people show up to this one thing, had uh, 120 people show up to this other thing, and then I had four people show up to this other thing that I would have preferred most of the people show up to that. <laughs> like, for real, for real. So, uh, but I didn't have the resources to market that. Like, all, I, could, I didn't have the resources to market all three well, right? So you have to be able to understand the resources that you have at the moment to, to you know, determine what you're going to direct people's attention to. That's another thing. Um, now, when we talk about this three months situation, everybody doesn't have the resources to do it three months because we need a consistent, real, legitimate push happening for three months. So if you cannot start with like three months and this is just a this is just a number, of course, it will vary. Like, so don't start saying, hey, I did this in one month and it got these results and I did or it took me really six months. Of course, results may vary, uh, but. Three months is really a good time if you can start thinking and planning. But if you cannot do three months, 
whatever you have going on right now, if you're typically doing two week pushes, then you need to start thinking about how do I do three and four week pushes, right? And now let me see if I can try to extend it to two months and then continue to grow your plan that way. Because maybe you can't wait till you have a lot of money every single time. Like maybe you only have, you're going to take, you'll, you'll only be able to do it like once a year if that's your situation. I don't know what the situation is. But what I can say is a lot of artists will find themselves in better positions a lot of times, especially when you're like no connections, you're in your room, you're, it's really just you. You'll find yourself in a better position is if you take time, you strategize, you build up your resources, you get your catalog, you get your all your promo together, you get uh, like all the money, you know, you save all the money for the budget, right? You don't just, oh, I'm going to throw out $50 here. Oh, I'm going to throw out $50 here. Like that, that's cool if you're testing. But when we're talking about your campaign and trying to build to actually make sure things get like traction, then you're better off saving all that money and then being intentional about where you spend it to make sure you can add that to the push, to the push, to the push. And you keep pushing that track throughout your campaign or keep pushing whatever that content is throughout your campaign. And honestly, I mean, record labels still do this, right? So it's not really just a, if you don't have resources, it's really the best way to go about it. Because if you're trying to create a groundswell and a, uh, what's the word? A buzz, there we go, a buzz. It's because it's all a lot of energy in, in a concentrated uh, area, right? Is going to have a greater impact. Let's keep it at that. So please consider lengthening your campaign. I don't care if it just means you can only do it two more weeks than usual. And maybe that's going to make you think differently as well. It should, because now you have to get creative. Well, what can I do to do a little bit of this or to keep things going if I don't have the money to, to bring for, or maybe I need to wait an extra two months before I even drop this project because who's waiting on the project? Most likely, like, especially if you're starting from nowhere, right? Nobody's waiting on the project. It's only you being antsy about getting it out. That's why patience, right, is a huge thing. We hear so many people talk about patience and mindset and all that stuff, but patience, patience, patience. Well, it's a real thing if you talk about executing correctly because this plan and extending the plan and making sure you put the right amount of effort, energy into the plan is literally, that's that's the part where people win. So many people have information, right? Watch these Watch these videos and things like that. But the execution is where it's all one at the end of the day. Just, that's just what it is. So I'll leave this video that. Once, once again, this was on the, on the fly. I don't want to add too much other information and random stuff. Maybe we'll get in deeper to some of that type, uh, some of that strategy and planning in another video. But um, yeah, other than that, once again, this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com. Because I signed myself. If you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like, you might as well share it. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.